Well, back in, I think it was like around December 2021, uh, we talked about the TMA Japanese Studios. Uh, they are responsible for some porn parodies of anime films out there like um, Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen. Which uh, you can check out that video on the Jujutsu Kaisen one we discussed before. And, uh, you know, one thing with, with the porn industry is they're never going to stop with a lot of these parody uh, adaptations. It does make money for them. And uh, basically, you look at what has been going on, uh, you know, like especially like regular film, you know, the Marvel films. Uh, that you see the production pr values keep increasing on the porn parodies, you know, Axel Braun and many others that have brought those out. Now, here's the other thing that gets, uh, here's the weird one for this year. Now, you guys are familiar with Chainsaw Man, a really good series. The uh, manga has done very well itself. Uh, some people have liked it, some people have not. Uh, but uh, guess what? They've got their own porn adaptation but the the twist on it gets stranger by the minute but before we start i just wanted to take this moment to thank all of you for clicking on this video if you haven't yet hit that like share this video with friends family enemies and hopefully today i've earned your subscription and for those of you already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed as YouTube tends to remove uh, subscriptions from time to time. And remember, if you wish to help support this channel, there are several links in the description below, including a merch shop with new anime themed shirts and mugs now available. Once again, thank you for your support and make sure you hit that notification bell to make sure you receive all our notifications on Cutecast TV and all of our programming across all of our social media platforms. Thank you once again. Directly from Otako USA Magazine, Chainsaw Man porn appears to be selling more Blu-rays than the anime itself. This just writes itself on there. Chainsaw Man opens with the main character, Denji wanting to get some action and he does get a lot of action in the live action pornographic movie spoof dildo man and you can guess what the chainsaws are being replaced with uh this is the work of studio tma a japanese company that has made porning spoofs uh weathering with you demon slayer and jujutsu kaisen as well as other titles and now there are reports that this adult parody might be selling better than the original chainsaw man anime Kotaku picked up a report that said that about 8,600 8, Blu-ray copies of Dildo Man were bought during the first week on the market. On the other hand, a report from Screen Rant said that the actual Chainsaw Man anime sold only 1,735 copies on the Blu-ray its first week out. Last month, CEO Manatuba Otsuka uh, bemoaned that there weren't more Blu-ray sales for Chainsaw Man, though the anime is doing very well on streaming. To be, prefer to be perfectly honest, I wish uh, Chainsaw Man could reach more of an audience that pays for home video release, he said. He also noted, as far as investment goes, one could say that it was a complete success. However, I'm not satisfied that we were, were able to bring out the same kind of impact as Jujutsu Kaisen, which we worked on right before chainsaw man now you know i agree that there you know chainsaw man it even though chainsaw man was out online i think a lot of people did not want to pay uh the situations i think it was on hulu at certain points even though with uh, it being out there a lot of people didn't want to pay to see it i mean it could have gone to the high seas but i think there was not um, advertisement wise, I think, uh, basically it wasn't, um, as how can we put this? It wasn't presented in the proper light on there, even though a lot of people seen it, I've seen it. Uh, I enjoyed it on there, 
but I think promotional wise, it wasn't pushed as best as we thought. YouTubers pr promoted it, it very well, but I think the mainstream media didn't really go into it. I think some of them did avoid it uh, due to its uh, graphic nature because uh, it, it is happens to be very uh, violent, very bloody, which basically not you know nothing wrong with that. That's you know on the average of a horror film out there. You know I could tell back about a dozen horror films that are about just as bloody or even bloodier. Uh, than uh, Chainsaw Man. But when you look at that, a live-action pornographic spoof of it does better on Blu-ray than it. It's not It's not a shocking surprise. It, it isn't at all. Uh, you, if we go down the list of a, lot of, of a lot of other animes that have been out there, I know one of them, uh, Evangelion, uh, the parody to that, uh, it, they had these shorts that were out, did very well for itself. In fact, it did well on the blue on the black market itself, from what I understand, because uh, basically those were leaked out first into the U.S. Um, by bootleg first, and then finally they, they got a full release on it itself. And if you go by my, my you know my views on my video on Jujutsu Kaisen on all my social media platforms, it did very well talking about uh, the parody itself. Um, you know, there are people that are interested in it and, you know, uh, some people will watch it for shits and giggles. And, you know, that's the thing about these situations. And, you know, I had someone in the comments line that says, well, porn is not an art. I said, porn is an art, has been an art since the ancient days. And the thing about it is you got to always remember it's how it's shot. You have to look at the perspective of look at the design, look at the camera angles. Yes, it has sex in it. But let me tell you something. There have been other movies that have, you know, in Hollywood history that have been considered porno pornographic that uh, have been praised. The uh, Last Tango in Paris, uh, the 1970s uh, Caligula, which just recently got a celebration because it reached a milestone on anniversary uh, at Cannes. Just recently in France, they had a they had a screening of the new print that's out that's supposed to be coming out on Blu-ray, for or, and 4K. Uh, so it goes to show you, you know, you can have something artistic and still be pornographic at the same time. So tell me in the comments below your thoughts about uh, Chainsaw Man. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you not? Did you catch the adult version of it? Uh, you know what your thoughts on that. Um, so please let me know on there. Uh, don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to hit that like, make sure you hit that notification bell. And hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. So once again, thank you for clicking on this video and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.